this week's quick tip video, I got three quick tips for you. Every once in a while, you'll have an object or an area that is enclosed by two or more objects like this, but there is not a closed polygon, and you may need a closed polygon for doing hatching or something. You can run the boundary command. Boundary command, if you run it and then pick inside of an object, hit it enter, will create a closed polygon polyline by flooding that area and create it. Now you have a single object that is closed. Our second tip is something about hatch. Now that we've got this closed polyline, let's hatch it real fast. And we're going to select it by an object. We're going to pick that object and hatch it. And I'm going to change this over here to concrete. And I want to make it white. Well, this is white, and something we may know and often forget is that you can put background colors behind hatches. It's super easy. So this is concrete, which is actually gray. So wouldn't it be nice if I could make this gray with the concrete rather than putting two hatches? I can come right, select and come right here, and I can apply a background color just that quick and easily. Third quick tip is using the transparent commands over here on our toolbar. There's a lot of really good ones in here that allow you to name points, stake to certain coordinates, and so forth. As an example, I can just say I wanted to, I'm designing and I wanted to see what a 6% slope would look like. So I could start my polyline command. Once it's started, I can come over here to, I believe this is it, profile and grade and length. So I can click that. Choose my view, choose my grade, so I'm going to say 6%, and I want a length of 100. And there's my polyline. I hit enter and escape out a few times, and I'm out. So that's how I can draft those in. And if I had not drawn that as a polyline and just done it as a line, I make that mistake often. Let's say select that view grade of 6% at 100 feet, and escape, and escape. Now there's that, I can hover over this, and I can lengthen this slope however I want to. You can use this to stake to certain elevations, draw to certain elevations, certain stations, and st stuff like that using these transparent commands, which can come in really handy during your design. That's it for our quick tips. Hopefully those will Maybe it's some of them you didn't know and they'll come in handy in the future. Please click the like button and feel free to subscribe.